Two days ago, I made a video about how Prime is getting hit with a lawsuit for allegedly having forever chemicals known as PFAs and PFOs inside their drinks. Now, like I said in my last video, I'm not a fucking doctor. There was no evidence provided. This whole thing was alleged. And we said that uh, Logan Paul and KSI haven't responded to the lawsuit yet. And we don't know what's going to happen. And I look forward to seeing what happens. Well... The interesting has happened. Logan Paul has responded to all the allegations and has debunked every single bit of it. Basically, bro came and he cooked. Now, in the last video, we didn't get into deep details. We just summarized the whole thing and we talked about it. But let me give you a little bit of more information about the lawsuit. Now, the lawsuit was actually filed in August 2023 by California resident Elizabeth Castillo. She was seeking $5 million for claiming the product was not accurately marketed. And if she knew of the PFA's levels, she would not have purchased the drink. So Ms. Castillo went and bought the drink. Then later on from somewhere, she found out, or I don't know if she did the research herself, it's not mentioned, that she found out that the PFAs has three times the amount that a human can take in a lifetime. It doesn't mention lawyer Castillo or Dr. Castillo. Maybe she just found the fucking TikTok video and she was like, oh, I'm suing them. Money, five million. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole thing turns out to be Gatorade being behind all of this. Gator Gatorade spreading the rumors. Gatorade trying to make Prime look bad because, you know, Logan and Keza has been shitting on Gatorade for years now. So the whole lawsuit was very low-key. No one was really taking it seriously since there was no evidence. It was all alleged until... There was this lawyer on TikTok this month, 2024, April. He came and he spoke about it. He made four videos about it. And all the videos combined, they got like 30 million views. That's when shit got serious. And that's when the Prime had to respond. I never thought that Logan Paul and Forever Chemicals would be in the same sentence. But there's actually a class action lawsuit against Prime Energy and Prime Hydration, which are energy drinks and sports drinks that were made by a company called Prime Energy owned by Logan Paul. And one of the allegations is that Prime Hydration has PFOS and PFOs, forever chemicals in them. So this is an ongoing lawsuit. And our office was actually recently contacted by a young boy who has leukemia after drinking prime hydration and PFOs and PFAs have been linked to specific types of cancers. Now, if you're a content creator, you're a commentary guy, you're a documentary guy, you gotta be very careful with what you say because one word can land you in court. And gonna cost you a lot of money and i said in the last video where a guy came forward and said oh uh, my son drank prime and now got leukemia and i said like there's a million ways you can get cancer from the cancer of leukemia was probably from a family gene or something there's no way you can prove it and the lawyer went for a part one two three and four and that is when people started to shit themselves and he mentioned that these things are alleged since he's a lawyer you need to be careful not to get sued but he was covering the lawsuit that's it but he still said some words that could get him in trouble and guess what it did because logan paul responded with this video not only is there a lawsuit against logan paul's company prime for there being pfos which are forever chemicals in the prime hydration drink all right let's talk about this first off anyone can sue anyone at any time that does not make the lawsuit true and in this case it is not there's claims that pfos or forever chemicals come from plastic so in this case they're not talking about the actual drink the liquid prime they're talking about the bottle that prime is manufactured in this ain't a rinky dink operation we use the top bottle manufacturers in the united states all of your favorite beverage brands Coke, Pepsi, Tropicana, Dr. Pepper, they use these companies. If the product is served in plastic, they make a bottle for them. Accordingly, we follow Title 21 for the Code of Regulations for PET and all other types of bottles. The products are manufactured by our company in a manner compliant with all pertinent current good manufacturing practices by the United States Food and Drug Administration. All of our suppliers use GMP facilities. But let's say they're talking about the drink itself. Here's where their argument really falls apart. Pay attention. But according to the testing done by one of the lawyers for the plaintiff... Whoa! Hold it. You saw Goodman or Walter White, brother, because this little study that was conducted by a lawyer is absolute bullshit. They're claiming that Prime has 0.06 PPT, parts per trillion. But that's interesting because the EPA says that anything under 1.1 PPT cannot be deemed as reasonably accurate, meaning they don't have the right tools or resources to even prove what they're claiming. Are you following this? It means the detection limit is 66 times more than what they're claiming we have in our drink. And that's just the detection limit. Your own state will not even take action unless it's over 40 parts per trillion. 
brilliant. So we don't even think this information is factual, but for the sake of this conversation, let's continue. In one prime hydration drink, they found three times the amount of PFOs that you should consume in drinking water in your life. <laughs> We have a very big multi-million dollar film. I know this whole thing sounds gibberish to you. It sounds gibberish to me as well. But bro came prepared. Bro did his homework. He had all the lists in front of him. And I gotta give it to him. He cooked with facts covering it behind them. I don't know why I'm pretending like I understood what he said on 1.1, 1 .1, 4.5, 6 6.9. But I'm assuming it's true. Now, if you're wondering why not both KSI and Logan Paul are in, are in the video talking about this because it's both their brands. Well, KSI's first reason, KSI's forehead could not fit, even if he comes alone. His forehead will be the only thing we'll be paying attention to. Second reason, KSI will be making jokes and doing his laugh, so no one will take him seriously. Logan basically went and he said the filters they use, the bottles they use, the companies they use, everything is FDA checked. Or there's all, It's just rumors going around that FDA is going to come and check our things for having some sus activities going on with our prime energy drink. He debunked the whole thing, and this is where the drama got juicy. It never happened. They never called us because we follow every single guideline and regulation. So Tommy, the TikTok lawyer, or four videos in man farm those views get those likes and get a haircut while you're at it we'll accept an apology within the next 48 hours otherwise you're going to be representing yourself in a miserable courtroom for lying about our brand now if that video did not get millions and millions of views logan wouldn't even have made a video about this and tell him to say sorry if the next 48 hours or i'm going to take you to court even if he takes him to court the things he said he said alleged he said the claims that they're claiming but he said some words that can actually cost them and it can be like a fair fight between them. It's going to be 50-50. We're not going to know who's going to win in court if they actually go there. But Logan knows that he will not accept this because he's only pressuring him to say sorry. First, marketing for Prime. Second, he knows he will never accept it because it's going to cost them time and money just going to court. So it's just much easier to say sorry. And in front of the whole internet, they're going to look good. And guess what happened? All the videos were deleted, and this was Bro's response. Apology within the next 48 hours, otherwise you're going to be representing yourself in a miserable courtroom for lying about our... Yo, Logan, why don't we just go live and talk about this? Do you want to have a discussion, or you just want to threaten me? Bro saw an opportunity, tried to boost his account up, boost his business up, but little did he know his business was about to fall down because after he posted this video, he didn't get a response, so he immediately deleted it. After all the backlash, he started getting from the internet as well. And six hours ago, he posted this apology video on his TikTok. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the he said, she said, and then it gets painted as a black and white issue. But the truth of the matter is, is that I was reporting on a lawsuit that had been filed. I don't personally have any facts or any evidence um, that the lawsuit references. I was simply reporting on what the lawsuit alleged. But with that said, Logan, I'm sorry, brother. I am. Now, bro said that he was just covering the whole story. He didn't have any facts. He just talked about it since just the, a lawsuit was filed. And he thought it would be something interesting for his viewers to see and just share the information with them. Little did he know he was going to get a response video from his favorite creator, but it wasn't the response video he expected. Now, if I was in his situation or if my videos got like millions of views on TikTok or YouTube, even though I was very careful with my words since there was no evidence provided, it was just conspiracy theories we were going through and just talking shit. There was a chance that Logan would have made a response video and would have said that, oh, you enjoyed clickbaiting, click farming. Well, if you do not say sorry in the next 24 hours, I'm going to sue you and I'll see you in court. Now, my wallet might be too small, but my ego is too big. I was, I, I'll be ready to flee the country. I would definitely go back and forth with Logan on this situation. And when he says, I'll see you in court, I'll say, I'll, I'll see you in court. And I'll just never show up. Police will be after me and I'll probably like flee the country or something. So more of the story, is there PFAs inside Prime? Probably yes, but probably not this three times the amount that a human can take in a lifetime because everything else like 90 percent of the shit that we go through air water whatever we touch or eat or drink in our life it has pfas like i said 97 percent of the u.s population they have pfas just different levels this time prime has won against the law so they were very much prepared with evidence 
and let's see what comes in the future i look forward to it personally for me like i said in the last video i stole a couple of prime drinks from my friends since they got it for free i saw like one or two boxes and i finished it all in a week i personally like the flavor i think they're very i like sweet things i'm a very sweet tooth type of guy but will i ever pay for it no it's not worth it for me to pay for it it's just too damn expensive but if they want to give it to me for free prime why not oh yeah this was definitely a very interesting uh, beef lawsuit to cover and you don't need to panic or be scared anymore if you had prime in your past or if you're still you know drinking prime you're safe it's fine you can do so there's no there's no evidence that came out that there's forever chemicals but you will probably die from other things that you do in your life i don't know why you were worried about prime in the first place you vape you smoke you drink you drink alcohol probably gonna die from those but anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.